beta lactoglobulin, when I first started researching this, I, what I didn't realize is that it's what's called like a major protein. And it's not like one molecule. Uh, it's not like a molecule of leucine. I guess my first question is, can you kind of describe what, what a major protein is? Is it just like kind of a clump of amino acids that are all together? Or is the beta lactoglobulin kind of like a soup in, a, in its own way? Um, are they like bound together within it? Or because I know like beta lactoglobulins, it's like a major protein that contains several different amino acids with it inside, but I'm not really sure what the best definition of, of a major protein is. I can talk a bit about this, Preston. Um, essentially, all proteins in all uh, living organisms are made up of uh, the same bunch of amino acids, right? And they, are, they have the same overall um, composition in the sense that it's a 3D structure of amino acids that are linked together like like bets on a string, right? So you have to imagine that if you take a protein which is a 3D structure and you take it in at the very end, you sort of, you can actually unfold it and then you get this very, very long string of bets on a string. Each of these bits, bit, bits on the string are individual amino acids that are linked to each other through a linkage, right? Uh, and then the first one can be alanine, then it can be glycine, tryptophan, histidine, et cetera, et cetera. Now, if you let go of this string in water or inside the body, it's going to fold up onto a, a hardwired structure due to a lot of different interactions between these amino acids, electrostatic interaction, hydrogen bonds, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then some proteins are very structured. Uh, some are uh, less structured or unfolded, right? Um, and each of these proteins, they have a function. Some proteins are enzymes, right? So they convert one chemical to other, another. Some proteins are structured. They sit, uh, they're part of the skin and makes it uh, smooth, et cetera, et cetera. So that's basically protein, right? So imagine you have those 20 units that can make up a protein. Depending on how you combine the units, you can have thousands of different kinds of proteins. So some proteins can have a high content of leucine or a high content of alanine or histidine or, uh, you know, ar aromatic amino acids. Uh, it all, it's all dependent actually on the genetic code. So the DNA that's encoding that protein who tells the recipe for that protein. So there's no protein that are similar. And their beta electroglobulin is one protein. And then actually proteins can sit together like in small, in, in, as, a, as a dimer, so they can sort of bind to each other. So for, for example, with casein, they are, it's different kinds of proteins that go together in a big globular structure. So in milk, it's a micelle or like a big bunch of proteins sitting together. So uh, yeah, that's the different, you know, layers of how proteins are built up. That's okay. That's incredibly helpful. This that would have saved me literally like four hours of research. 